Um, so I'm here to tell you about what exactly a memristor is. It's uh, one of a, it's the fourth circuit element. You already have resistors, capacitors, and inductors. The memristor is the fourth nonlinear circuit element that um, relates magnetic flux and charge together. So one of the main properties of memristors, it's kind of a new technology, not everyone knows about it right now, but one of the things we do know is that it has the ability to remember resistance as current flows through it. Like if you were to turn a current source off and then turn that back on, at that same instant it will remember the resistance that it calculated. Um, there's many potential applications for a memristor. The one we were actually studying about relates to the power grid with solid state electronics. In uh, your typical power grid, you have the transformers with your 60 hertz, or the 60 hertz that goes to your house, but the transformers produce a natural loss. Um, solid state electronics doesn't have that same loss, but it's made up for it by the characteristics of a memristor. And so now we have a demonstration of something that we created, our emulator that actually produces the, um, the characteristics of a memristor remembering the resistance. So we come over here and we have a function generator that generates basically a um, uh, AC sine wave just to pro and a DC power supply that produces a, a DC that goes on here. So basically what we have is a microcontroller that, can, that will calculate the correct resistance and after you push the button and turn it off, it will remember that resistance the next time you turn it on. So what we have to, uh, on the actual microcontroller here, I don't know if you can see it, is um, just a couple of lights. So when I push the button on here, it'll change. So we push it here, and you see the ADC, the R new, and then the R step. And this R step goes to the digital potentiometer, changing the resistance value. And this time we received the binary six, which for a potentiometer with a 5K tap, that means it's a roughly a resistance of 300. So that means the next time I push the button, it'll use that 310 ohm resistance value in its calculation, thus re resembling the uh, memristor, remembering the resistance and being able to be used in many different practical applications.